right after Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. All right, Michael Jordan takes a straight shot at Kevin Durant. Quote, and I unquote, I'm not trying to bash anyone that's not here. Where in the hell was Michael Jordan at? Well, last night, Michael Jordan inducted Russell Westbrook into the Oklahoma um, Hall of Fame. And in the midst of that, during his, in his induction, he told, he told um, people that were in the audience, listen, I'm not trying to bash anyone that's not here. That's a direct shot. He got a, he got a, a little uproar out of the crowd. He was directly taking a shot at Kevin Durant. Like, damn, Michael Jordan, that's, that's pretty straightforward. I'm so sick of people taking shots at Kevin Durant for doing what you would have did if it was your life. If somebody said, look, I'm going to make your life much easier. You're going to get um, the same amount of points that you would have were averaging because I told you all this this summer. Look at the stats. Kevin Durant's stats haven't fell off. If anything, his field goal percentage is up now. You're going to get the same number of stats. You're going to have the opportunity for more rebounds. Your life will be easier. You'll go from Oklahoma to California. You'll have teammates who will fight to the end for you, and you'll win more basketball games. What would you have done in that situation, all right? So, Michael Jordan, you, it's cool. And maybe you wouldn't have did that. Maybe you would have stuck it out with your Bulls. Maybe you would have stuck it out with your Wizards. And that's perfectly fine. I also have the right to call you stupid for that. All right? Now, with that being said, you can't argue Michael Jordan. It's so hard to argue anything with Michael Jordan because, number one, he's the greatest basketball player of all time. He is the GOAT. And he, anything he says, you really can't argue with it because you can't argue with success. All right? If, if I made a 98 on a test and a guy made a 100 on the test, and I try to call myself smarter than him, I really can't do it because the guy has shown me nothing but perfection. Michael Jordan is 6 for 6 in NBA Finals. It's hard to say anything bad about the damn guy because he's never took an L. All right? With that being said, I will say this, Michael Jordan. If you were in Kevin Durant's shoes in this climate where LeBron James plays with Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love, Tristan Thompson, J.R. Smith, and you struggling, and you got a teammate that doesn't pass the damn basketball like Russell Westbrook, for a, a, a lot of the time, doesn't pass a damn basketball. If Scottie Pippen was so damn ball dominant, like Russell Westbrook is, you ain't going to tell me that you wouldn't have thought about leaving. I'm just I'm sorry. It is what it is. Now, with that being said, I believe Michael Jordan's personality, giving credit where credit is due, would have told Scottie Pippen, I'm better than you. Give me the damn basketball. Now, that's where Kevin Durant, I think, should have told Russell Westbrook. Don't get me wrong on that. I think Kevin Durant should have been more vocal with Russell Westbrook and expressed his frustration. Look, Russell Westbrook, you a bad boy. Don't get me wrong, but I'm the damn number one option. We're a better team if I'm the number one option. Now, I'm with you with that, Jordan. But all this bashing of what Kevin Durant did is, to me, starting to get old. If you look at what he's who he's playing with, I mean, I guess after until after the season, until after we see where Golden State finishes, if Kevin Durant goes and gets a couple championships, I guess then we look back. And we see if it was a good decision or not. For now, it's all speculation until we see it in the playoffs and we see him against LeBron James in the finals. So it's all speculation right now. And 10, 20 years from now, we won't look back and give a damn about any of this, honestly. These narratives won't won't really matter. Honestly, uh, with that being said, um, Jordan... Jordan, we don't talk about some of the small things with Jordan and gambling. We think, we think about him six, his six rings... We might bring up Kobe and Shaq's disagreements, but we're going to bring up Kobe's five rings and three of them that he got with Shaq. So, I mean, these little small narratives mean nothing. We're going to bring up LeBron James, how he has three rings, and how he, and we're not going to talk about how he joined, took his talent to South Beach with Wade and Bosh. And we're not, we, honestly, we'll probably bring up how he won a championship with Cleveland. So, I mean, I guess it's all relative. But I'm tired of the bashing of Kevin Durant for a decision that 98% of America would have did. If you tell me my life will get easier, 98, and I'll make the same amount of money. 98.9% of America would have did the same damn thing, all right? And the other 1.1% 1. 1. 1 to me is stupid. With that being said, I go by the name of Alfred Telefero. You're currently tuning in to Mr. Telefero TV. Thank you for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, salute. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. All right, now you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah!